Okay, I'm kind of like in a rush right now. It's like, what today is? It's Christmas Eve, y'all. Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. It is 2.08 right now. And my mom just left. She's actually on the way. I should have did this when she left. But my mom's on the way back home. So I'm trying to wrap her gift up first. Real quick before she gets here. She's probably going to be here like any minute though. But really, I'm just rushing with her. She can see me wrap everybody else's. But I don't want her to see me wrap hers. Of course. I don't even want her to know she got some. Because it was looking real. It's the thought that count this year have y'all been in the christmas spirit because i've honestly been in the christmas spirit i'm so thankful because like you know as you get older it can uh, like it can start feeling like uh i mean yeah you might want some stuff you might get some stuff but you don't feel in the christmas spirit the christmas spirit is a real thing so i was like trying to get myself in the christmas spirit i did a whole video of trying to get in the christmas spirit and that wasn't just for real i was seriously trying to get in that spirit because i don't know i just miss having it from when you were younger and like in school and like elementary no elementary was the best days because like we had pizza parties and like i remember in kindergarten we had like the polar express theme thing going on we had um dressed up and like in pajamas and stuff bro bro no way i did it too little how there's just no way I did that. I'm not recutting it even. There's no way. Anyways, we're not going to talk about that. But, like, just remember being in elementary and we would, um, hot chocolate and marshmallows. We would have our pajamas on. We would watch movies, eat popcorn. Like, it just felt so good. And I recently just realized this, but my city does not decorate no more. Like, I don't know when they stopped. They probably been stopped doing that, but, like, Something as simple as having Christmas wreaths and Christmas trees, like little mini Christmas trees on the, um, you know, in the medium where the light, light post at. Something like that, that just makes it feel more Christmassy. Business establishments having their trees with like Christmas lights on it. Christmas lights are hella cheap. It's, it don't take nothing to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. And what else? It's just a whole lot of stuff I just realized, like, I wish my city did more or like how they used to do something real cheap and affordable like it don't cost the arm and the leg y'all can y'all can at least do that you know what i'm saying i remember when i was younger my mom be telling people that i will always have her go through this neighborhood this old man used to stay at and his house felt like you just literally went to santa claus house for real it was so man it was like i'm sure everyone knows it's that one house that you go to because it has so many decorations and so many lights or one place in your city one place in your state somewhere that was literally the drive through light show for me. Like, it was so beautiful. I just always wanted my mom to take me there. She could not pass the house without taking me through there. And he passed away. I don't know when, a couple years ago. But he passed away and now it's nothing right there. I just had to realize that now that I'm older, I have to put myself in the Christmas spirit. I don't know where I went wrong with this. I'm not cutting it wrong, first off. Bro, this is terrible. I'm sorry. But yeah, so doing stuff like going with my friends or with my family to go see Christmas lights, ice skating, even though the closest ice skating place is three hours away, I low-key did want to go still, but like, I've just been real busy, so like, I didn't have time to even try to think about going, setting up a cute little hot cocoa bar and putting Christmas decorations around the house, putting some in my room, even though I literally only have that blanket and that pillow from Five Below. It still made me feel better about my room. And then this is a new comforter. So, I meant to put it in the Christmas decoration video, but it was not coming in time. And I was not going to have my video just going up hella late. Yeah, so how have y'all been? Have y'all been in a Christmas spirit? Because honestly, I have. Today, me and my best friend went Christmas shopping. We went to one store and we were done. Because uh, I had got off work. I was tired. She was tired. She had a headache. We were hungry, we got some Triple A, we sat in the car, we about to have doubt, play music talk. And then we went into TJ Maxx and literally we went home. <laughs> we was like, wait, look. Mm -mm. Only person I really had to go on a hunt for was my mom because for the longest I didn't know what to get her. And then <sighs> time kept flying by. I ordered everybody else gift, but I was like, take it was taking me so long to think of something for her. So it was just like, forget it, I gotta go to a store. And then I've been dreading going to the store because it's only getting later and closer to Christmas. So that means 
a million and one people in the stores and in the way. And when we went to the store yesterday, TJ Maxx, I mean, it went by hella fast. But when I seen that line, I almost walked out. Like, for real, I almost put her stuff down and walked out. But it went by pretty fast, so. What's the hardest person for y'all to get something for? Because this is real trifling. I'm sorry, Mom. Uh, and do y'all have any plans for Christmas? Because I don't. I just want to stay at home, honestly. Because Christmas is on a Sunday, so I'm going to probably go to my Mimi church. And then hopefully my dad come in town so I can give him his gift. I'm going to come back home and just chill with my family. And my mama cooking gumbo. Thank God, thank God. This is what I got, Brooke. I did not know it came with a beanie. I seen um, someone post them. And all I seen was the house shoes. I did not know they came with a beanie, though. So that's perfect. Very. And then they're pink. Her favorite color is pink. So it's just like, just perfect. And again, I wanted to find her something else. I was going to go back to the stores. But then, like I said, time just was not on my side. No, I wanted to put her stuff in something else because I don't want her to know. Because she slick was like, yeah, you could give me some more slides or something like that. Because, like I said, hers was raggedy. And I was like, I got you them. She's like, yeah, these are a little worn out. And you can keep some up. But I already got her some. She didn't even know it. But I don't want her to know. Uh-uh. I don't want her to recognize, like, the size of the box. I love you want to put it in here, bro. <laughs> Is it going to fit? Christmas shopping in person was yesterday at T TJ Maxx and I wanted to go to TJ Maxx Marshalls you know let me put this video in Brooklyn sent to me that's me this one text me now next is a polo hoodie I'll insert a picture it's for my stepdad, so I'm not going to open it. I'm going to let him open it. I wanted to put his um hoodie in here, but he probably ain't got time to be playing with me. Oh, this from last year. Put my dad's in this one and my his in this one. My mom was like, you got your dad and stepdad matching stuff. I was like, no, bro. Matching outfits, yeah. No, I'm playing. That would be nothing wrong with it. But, I mean, matching, no, but... I got them both something from Polo. And then, I'm going to insert a picture of it, like I said. But I got my dad a, um, what do you call it? A dressy. It's like a dressy pullover. So he can wear it to church. He can wear it on a date. Like, it's real cute and casual. I always get him stuff from Polo. But this time I got him a different style of something from Polo this time. Oh, this is fun. Ew, I just drew the ugliest part. I miss when parents appreciated um, DIY um, gift cards that said Merry Christmas and a little note in it, decorated with markers and stuff. Yeah, I miss them days. We're going to run that back one year. For real. Okay, I'm going to put some tissue paper in here to to my mom from Dee Dee. Like, this is from last year. I'm going to just, because I was going to put two Andre from Davion and Jalen. But, can't do that. Should I open it? It's some Crocs, some slide Crocs. I don't even think they're that cute, but my sister wanted these. I was going to put hers in this long basket, long box too. But I don't know when she's going to be in town. So, so yeah. Ooh, I wish I would have took a picture of everybody gift before I wrapped it up, bro. I mean, I'm showing it to y'all, but I wanted to put, like, if I did a thumbnail, you know? But yeah, I got her these white classic cozy with three z's sandals um probably put hers in a gift bag if i find one i also want to get her some fuzzy socks because she likes fuzzy socks she said that a long time ago she loved love love fuzzy socks so she's not gonna be here tomorrow for christmas so i can really get her that stuff whenever perfect okay oh my goodness and i got my grandma a purse I need to get her, I'm going to see if I got a bag to put it in. 
But yeah, so what was I even talking about? It's like my mom, I don't know what I can get her. I can get her purses, perfumes, um, some jewelry, and stuff like that. But it's like, I just got her some, her favorite perfume for her birthday. It was a month ago. She buys five purses a month with five matching wallets a month. I can't keep up. I bought her a purse last year for Christmas, though. It was really, really pretty. So it's just like, you know. I don't want to keep getting the same thing, even though with my dad, I keep getting the same thing. But, and I could have bought her a purse, but it's just like, like I said, she done bought so many purses recently. It was just like, I wouldn't even know which one to get her. My problem is, I'd be like, trying to go all out, all the time. And it's just like, bro, I'd be, as long as I get something that's meaningful, and like, intentional, and like, purposeful, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the right words to say. I like to get people stuff that they want, need, and can use, like, as often as they want to use it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to buy people stuff just to buy them stuff when they're not going to even, like, they'll probably like it, but it's like, they probably ain't going to touch it or use it or, you know, you can like something but not use it. Like, my mom, she bought me this, a Birkin bag. No, nah, my mom bought me this red, beautiful, beautiful alligator brahmin it's brahmin she bought me this three two or three christmases ago i've never worn it i love the purse i really like the purse but it's just like i'm the type to wear my black crossbody michael kors purse every single day you know what i'm saying i don't switch my purses up often but that doesn't mean i'm never gonna wear it it's just i gotta find the right time like, i took it out of town for my birthday didn't wear it but i am going out of town with my sister real soon and i'm gonna take it like i'm gonna plan an outfit for it that's what i'm i'm talking about with being intentional with my gifts and stuff because i ain't trying to buy nobody nothing that's gonna sit in the corner like i'm doing then i gotta get out the his headspace of like oh i have to buy them something that's like kind of pricey you know like the price of it does not matter the thought is what counts no no funny stuff the thought is what matters so I'm, i think real long and hard about people gifts i stress about it and I really be trying to do something for people. Sometimes I can either just splurge to make sure you like it or just get you a lot of stuff just to hope that you really like it all. But okay, I'm gonna stop rambling because I'll keep on going on and on. And I'm gonna talk to y'all when I'm done wrapping this gift. And don't mind my greasy suppress. Too many. Anyways, y'all, I am done with all the gifts. Um, This is everyone's gift. I found one for my sister. I put We Like Molly and Molly What? This is so cute. I feel like this is the best looking one. I don't know, but yeah, so this is my <gasps> oh, I take that. This is for my sister, my best friend, my oh, my sister, my mom, my best friend, my dad, and my stepdad. Real small, real cute, real festive, you know what I'm saying? I did too much last year. I'm doing just enough this year. So yeah, I don't know what this gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be by itself. I don't know if it's gonna go. Yay! I don't know if I'm gonna Yay. put this with my vlog for tomorrow. But I'm finna get ready to head out. I need to go to the hair store real quick. And I'm gonna take Brooklyn stuff with me. So I'm gonna probably bring y'all along. Let me check her location and make sure she at home. She at home, y'all. So I'm gonna take y'all. She at home. Girl. She home. She at home now. Hey. Say Merry Christmas. Say cheese. Cheese. Yeah. So, oh my goodness. And I was supposed to give him a Christmas gift, but I could not find one that I wanted to give him. Ooh. I was gonna get him. For Thanksgiving in my Thanksgiving vlog, let me hold on. For Thanksgiving, when we was in the cabins, he kept going to sleep on this bean bag, and like you know, comfort is key. So I wanted to find him a bean bag for Christmas, but I could not find the one I wanted to get him. My mom, cause she was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna try to find him a bean bag." I said, "I'm getting him that." Like, what are you talking about? So she said, "We could just wait till after Christmas so we can like find one that we want because the one we want was not in store. So we just gonna probably find him one whenever we find him one." And that's his Christmas gift. But yeah, I got everybody. So I didn't exclude him, okay? But my camera finna die, so I'ma just talk to you guys later.
here, bro. 3.30, I um just got done wrapping the gifts. Well, last time y'all see me, I was wrapping the gifts, putting them under the tree or whatever. Now, I done had got ready and stuff, put me a, um, put me some clothes on, and I'm finna head to take Brooklyn Heart gift. I'm so excited, y'all can see it right there. Uh, that child, I mean, that old car seat is so ghetto. Like, I'm not a mother, like, it's my brother. No, but for real. Um, I'm excited to show her a gift. I'm gonna show y'all me giving it to her so she can see the box and be like, did you get me in this box? But hopefully, I'm gonna see if she wanna record herself open it tomorrow so I can put it in a video or not. I don't know, maybe I'll see. But I'm gonna take it to her and I'm extremely excited because today is the day that we put my wallpaper up in my salon. I'm super excited. I don't understand how long it's. I got this wallpaper for Christmas last year. That just shows you how me and my family operates. I've been wanting it up for the longest, of course, but then like forever I forgot about it. It's just sitting at my shop, just collecting dust. So we're finally finna put it up. And I'm even more excited because we're finna do a lot of different changes around the shop. Can't wait to get my own place to like paint it how I want, design it how I want, decorate it and stuff. But until then, I just been telling myself I have to literally work with what I got and use it to its fullest potential. Like, I want a bigger room, but for right, right now, I got to do what I got. I want this, that, and the third, but right now, I got to deal with what I got and make the best of it. And my stuff can look amazing with what I have and with what I can do to it, if that makes sense. Hair giving real, like, yeah. I'm just so glad she's painting everywhere. So, I'm going to go up there Monday after Christmas to help her paint. She's talking about at 8 a.m. <laughs> but it was too late. I already volunteered to help. So, I'm excited, though. I don't care. Now, at Brooklyn House, I'm two minutes away now. Well, not even two minutes. I'm gonna be pulling up into the driveway in 20 seconds. So I'll just pick y'all back up when I get to our house. What could this possibly be? And don't put me on there. I look a mess, bro. I just got down. Look at her. She tried to brain them outside, too. Don't try to brain my stuff when what I brain my stuff. What could that possibly be? <laughs> I'll show you what it is to get your reaction. <laughs> literally, what you think it is? I don't. I have no idea. Like, I literally don't. Go I don't know what. Accomplish, bro. I don't know what. Ooh, I look a mess. I don't know what it could possibly be like. What? Yeah, this is no. Nah, I'm mad because this is hella cute. Hold on, cause I got my dad Literally and Andre like something in the bag, and it does not do look this cute. Y'all seen it? I was having guests on camera. This That's is hella cute. cute. If I'd been having my hair done, we could have went out to eat, and I was gonna pop yes, out with my I'm bag. Like, bro, what is that? Literally, like. I love that you have. You're lucky Christmas no clue. tomorrow, cause I would. Y'all, I didn't even get on camera. Was she was tearing it apart. I didn't no. even ask for shit. Was it something I would like or is it just something like you think I would like? Was it something like me specifically? It gives you. Bro, quit. No, because you're going to hype it up and when you see it, you're going to be like, bitch, this is what it was. So stop hyping it up for real and just relax and go with the flow. Because I, I want you to remember it was a thought that count this year. <laughs> no, I'm glad. I seen this post. For real, cause I be trying to go all out, but it's not that. It's not. That's it's not, not the point. It's not the point, and then nobody got fucking money for that. Like, Literally, if you do got money for it, it ain't worth spending the shit. You like, don't have like, to it's spur, not yeah. Birthday. Then people got big ass families. Like, yeah, if people got money for it, but you gotta realize, you paying, you gotta get shit for everybody. You know? No, for real, because <laughs> like certain when I color code certain shit, like a simple candle or something mm -hmm. like that. I, like I feel that. like anybody would like that, mm -hmm. but sometimes I'm like, damn, like, they don't are they gonna it. appreciate it? But yes, I'm like, that's bro. all I could do. Like, I always feel shitty about the gifts that I yeah. get. But I'm like, shit, is something. Cause that'd be my favorite thing to do. Like I love to give people baskets color coded, and it, like I said, it be stuff you need. Like for Maddie for her birthday, I got her everything that was blue, and she got a new car, so I got her car sense, uh, car this, that, and the third. That's what the yesterday. Whenever I looked at you, I had already had your gift though. But I was thinking, I was, I like to try to get something that people like actually like. But mm -hmm. I'm like, we didn't already did that, so I don't know what the fuck. Else right it's like what do you but get i was like bro i could have got her shit for her car like to decorate your car but i already got your gift mm -hmm. Damn. but that'd be important shit and you like why the fuck would i buy someone this little shit but it's like bitch that stuff you'll you need on the basis yeah. christmas gifts that i haven't touched in years but it's not that i don't like it it's just i haven't got around to it right like this jacket you got me this for christmas two years ago this is my first time wearing it that shit crazy I'm sorry. Then it's cute as fuck. I ain't even realized I got you that shit. But it's funny how like you just now wearing. Then you want to wear it over here like your ass. <laughs> I tried to wear it over here, y'all. Literally, what? <laughs> Can you record yourself opening it? It's no. nothing too major. And actually, I think I need to go get something else because what, I grab what it. What did you get me? Like, can I have a hint? 
Can you record yourself opening it tomorrow? No. You probably, oh shoot, I'm playing around. Andre probably had the shot waiting on me, bro. Oh, shit, I just thought about that. that. We've had <laughs> enough time. Go. No, nah, though, we childish for sitting in the same seat. But you thank childish. you, bruh. You're and welcome. Thanks for this. Yeah, mission is uh, accomplished. She don't know what. Whoa. I was in neutral. She don't know what I got her, y'all. And that was like the point. So, you love that for me. I almost forgot, but I need to go meet my stepdad at my shop. So, let me hurry up. Yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. This is a success. I'm so excited. Hey you guys, my eyes about to get poked out before we start. Jeez. The boy led a camera. The cheese. Cheese! And the fire is slowly dying. And my dear, we're still goodbye. Thank you. I'm going to breath on this. I'm going to blow your ass up. No one. Loki ain't gonna serve you no justice no more though. Cause she ain't going nowhere. Oh man, look how cute. The little sweater. They're super cute, ain't it? Yes. So I'm gonna keep these for next year. We ain't gonna let it go tomorrow. Hello. That one's mine oh. from Brooke. Oh, that's right. Hold that. Hold that, baby. You want to see yourself? Just found this. I forgot I bought it like a month ago for 
around Thanksgiving. Y'all, these pants, they fit so good. They fit so good. And I probably had these for years. I need to cut the tag off. I don't know where this is from. This is from Ross, y'all. This is from Ross. These pants, I don't know. I'm sure I had them for years and they still have a tag on them. And I have on my brown boots. So this is what it's giving. Church girl, church girl. I have my camera in the house. But anyways, y'all. Good morning. It is 9.30 a.m. My girl is headed to church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She's heading to church. I'm so glad to be going to church. I ain't been to my Mimi church in a minute, y'all. Honestly, I was going so consistently from literally January till probably towards the end of the summer. I was going almost every single summer. A lot of stuff had happened. But at the end of the day, I wanted to be, I just want to share with y'all. I feel it on my soul, on my spirits on this lovely Christmas day. That you do not have to go to church every Sunday to be a saint. Do you hear me? Say it again, Jalen. You talking your stuff now. You do not have to go to church every Sunday to be a saint. You hear me? Or a child of God or loved by God. You can go to church once a year, five times a year, or every single Sunday in church. That don't matter if you don't have a relationship with God. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to church to build a relationship with God and to see God, that's one thing. But to just go just to go and it not make you, it not change you in no type of way. You don't get nothing from it. You don't try to soak in as much as you can. And you know, everything you should be doing. What's the point of you even going to church? Baby, like I said, I ain't go to church. I haven't been to church, my mini church in months. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? It A week don't go by to where, where I don't watch a sermon though. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's start there. So she goes to church, but she don't go to church or she ain't been to church okay so don't let my class fool you i'm somebody special but no for real i just wanted to let that be known because you know and, and watch sermons like sarah j roberts or i haven't watched michael todd in a minute but him and steven steven Furtick. i don't know i can't pronounce his last name but those are my three recommended people and it's more i just can't think of them but sarah j roberts for sure i get my word i get everything i need and more from watching you know sermons on youtube you know what i'm saying so if you can't make it to church if you ain't found your church home so yeah y'all you know that we know okay you ain't got to go to church to get church okay it's your relationship with god and other ways that you seek him now back to the um regular scheduled programming okay merry christmas y'all i'm just such in a good mood i got some not so good news like i did get some bad news this morning but I'm just choosing to get the brighter side of it. It could have, not it could have been worse. I don't want to say that, but I'm grateful that nothing more happened. You know what I'm saying? It's a family thing or whatever, but I'm just grateful. You know what I'm saying? It didn't go any further or whatever. I don't know. I really don't know how to say it, but like I said, I am heading to church. Don't want to run my mouth. I'm going to listen to some gospel on the way there. And I got my dad a gift with me. I don't know he, if he in town or not. Cause he didn't know if he was gonna come because the weather was kind of bad or whatever so if he ain't here i'm gonna feel some type of way say cheese again uh, sissy's back from uh, church uh, gonna make her some hot cocoa cheese